Hey, this is Mike Mu again. We're taking a look at the Fuego Backpack by Fuel. It is 18 and a half inches and features 1,063 cubic inches of capacity. It is just about sized perfectly for a carry-on or personal item in some airlines. If you don't pack it too full, most airlines will accept it. It has a lot of key features that we're gonna go over step by step just in this video. And I'd like to thank Fuel for sending this bag out for me for review. All right, you can see they have custom zippers all around with some nice detailed branding across the board. Um, you'll see that throughout the rest of the bag as well. In the very front, we have a little compartment where I just have a set of uh, eyeglasses, sunglasses and a nice sunglass case, but I can fit a tripod. This here is the quick access pouch in front with gusseted sides so that when you open up to access your items, they won't all fall out. And as I said before, the fabric is nicely branded throughout. They show a lot of nice details throughout the bag. So uh, this quick access pocket is pretty good for putting in other quick access items as long as you want to access them from the front and not when the backpack's on. Over to the side, there is what I like to consider a water bottle pocket that has some side see-through stretchable mesh that is pretty common. So if you have a sweaty type of water bottle, you know, it's not gonna stay wet or collect a lot of moisture in there. Nice clean lines on the side of the bag. Uh, you can see that there's plenty of padding throughout the back to, and also uh, air channels for your sweat and stuff to get through. And um, that's found throughout the back of the bag as well as on the backpack straps themselves. Nice same cation polyester fabric throughout that gives it that nice heathered look, heathered gray look, that is very, very uh, popular and stylish today. Um, it's got this nice area here for you to attach your bag to a trolley to transport throughout maybe the airport or on your roller. Uh, very, very convenient to have that. And um, you will see that uh, on the right hand side, we have something somewhat of a similar design, except that this pocket com completely zips up so you can put in items that you definitely don't want to fall out. In this case, I have a tiny little tripod that I find really handy for uh, my mobile photography and uh, mobile video making. But it's also a great pocket also for my sunglasses too, uh, or any other small little items that you wanna go ahead and fit there and make sure that they're not, they won't uh, fall out in case you're maybe running with your backpack. This front, bag area here has a nice organizational panel that has a separate RFID shielded pocket that's great for putting your wallets, your passports, credit cards, you know, IDs, anything that has RFID or um, NFC connectivity, you want to keep that shielded. That's great. It's got a lot of little organizational pockets as well. I just have batteries in here in this case and a little pocket blanket, but you know, you can put in USB battery packs. A uh, little notebook, for instance, even a little Kindle if you like. Um, also a lot of little pen pockets throughout. But the real feature here is, of course, the RFID uh, protective pocket there to secure your, um, your items and your information from uh, potential theft. Now this whole front part here also kind of has a built-in little expansion so you can actually fit a little bit more. Now going into the main compartment back here is where you can go ahead and fit up to a 17 inch laptop. It secures with a strap that attaches via Velcro and then it has a separate tablet pocket that you can also fit in there. I think a, a nice regular iPad Pro fits in there. 10, 10 inch iPad will probably fit in there just fine. Um, and then, it, of course, it has that full-on uh, capacity that allows you to throw in uh, whatever you like. And also, because of the design of the way the zipper is open, you can easily have full-on access to the whole bag. Bottom of the bag is well protected with a different type of more rugged material. So if you, you know, if you lay it down, um, you know, it, the wear and tear uh, will not be as affected on the bottom of the bag as it, as, as it would on the rest of the bag without compromising too much in terms of the style. So overall, uh, I've used this bag just for a couple of weeks now, and I had actually found it to be, you know, really lightweight, a great everyday carry type bag. 
Um, probably a little bit smaller for me uh, for um, for the type of travel that I like to do. But um, since it only weighs two pounds, it's really lightweight and really great for someone who likes to travel a little bit more lightweight versus for me, I like to look for something with more support and more, uh, you know, more for hiking and for longer trips. All right. So that's it for this quick look overview review of the Fuel Fuego backpack. If you want to find out more information about this and uh, to order it, please check down on my links down below. And once again, I'd like to thank Fuel for sending this out for me to review. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video.